Will Joppy try to impose his presumed strength? On Trinidad, Trinidad says calling out the double is one thing, facing him is another. The double will be in the details of this fight. William Joppy has never been showcased under such hot lights, under such an intense microscope. Felix Trinidad has spent the last few years of his career fighting in situations just like this one. Trinidad traditionally a slow starter, although in his last fight, he knocked Vargas down twice in the first round. Joppy gets in the first big blow, a right hand to the side of Trinidad's cheek. Trinidad is starting out the counter punch tonight. You know, he's a good, accurate puncher. If he stands back, holds his ground, he can sharp shoot some good overhand right. And that's what Joppy doesn't want to do is to run into Trinidad. He's going to make Trinidad come to you. William Joppy has a very authoritative jab. If he's able to land it early, he could establish control of the tempo in the fight. If Trinidad is able to slip around that jab, functional control could go to him. Joppy has already established, you better move away from me. I'm in charge. Dad, right into the middle of Trinidad's face. Joppy throws his right hand and comes right back to the left jab. Basic box. In this, his first mega bout. If anything, he's the looser of the two. Trying to let Trinidad know who the bigger man is, who the stronger man is. He's going straight to him, particularly with that heavy jab. Now Trinidad tries his own jab and sneaks in a little left hook. No matter how big you are, you just don't want to run and chase a puncher down. Trinidad can get on the right foot and level you up. There's a big left hook from Tito Trinidad. Landed on the arm. Good oh, right, right hand. Right hand lands again. And the pro Trinidad crowd comes to life. into the Trinidad artillery and down he goes the big left hook finishing that barrage how much recuperative power does Joppy have left George I never cease to be amazed at the number of fighters who think they can stand in front of Felix Trinidad and get away with it this may be the biggest benefit for Joppy the exercise of being a middleweight his ability to recuperate only the second time that Joppy has been knocked down. But now he knows why Felix Trinidad is regarded as being so special. Once again, Trinidad is circling Joppy, giving him the impression that he's moving away. Joppy has better be careful because Trinidad likes to get up on that right foot and just 
throw that thing like a baseball pitcher, that right hand. Let's remember, Vargas got up for two knockdowns in the first round and knocked Trinidad down himself in the fourth round. Joffrey not yielding. Trinidad lands the right hand shot. Got to keep his hands up. Whatever you do, finish with your hands back in position. Trinidad has only been catching him while his hands are down. Drops his hand just a little too much. Drops is still able to land his jab. It may be full gold if it tempts him to engaging or into engaging with Trinidad again. Pretty good for Joppy because he was knocked down because of dropping his hand. Joppy reaching, trying to land the big right hand. Now pops Trinidad twice with the jab. You got to make that big punch of Trinidad work for what he gets. Throw away some of that power. Don't go into him for nothing. something very good that this time he moved to the left and then he came back and moved to Trinidad's right. What you got to do, keep moving. Hard right hand by Trinidad. Trinidad doesn't seem to be concerned with Joppy's punching power at all. He's just letting everything go. <laughs> Joppy's going to get him. He's got to be on the move. Don't stand in front of this punch. Left hook by Joppy, partially blocked. Trinidad lands his left foot. Joppy with his hands down again. Now he gets him up. Crowd chasing for Trinidad. And as we go to Felix Trinidad's corner, where his father speaks to him in Spanish, our translator is Ray Torres. How do you feel? Take your hand. Take a deep breath, real deep. Tito, you feeling well? Tito, thank you. Tito, keep your hands up. You're okay. Everything's fine. Let's take some water. Give him some water. Who's got the mouthpiece? Let's get the spit bucket here. Who tolerates this room? My copy box numbers in the second round, William Joppy threw 50 jabs and landed 18 of them. Clearly, the jab is the weapon he hopes to rely on to win the fight tonight. Watch your head. Trinidad threw his own jab 23 times in the second round and landed 16 of them. So far, Joppy has been too easy a target for Trinidad. Now Joppy saw this jab, the jab that we expected in the first round. With Trinidad playing the counterpunch. Hard right hand over the top by Trinidad. The Canty Jr. told Trinidad to watch his elbows. There are subtle ways of roughing up an opponent, and Felix is a master of most, if not all. What's the elbow? Oh, low blow by Trinidad there. The champion junior steps in and warns him about that. So now he's been warned twice about the elbows, and once about the low blows, and we're only in round three. What's elbow, Tito? Joppy has said that he would take the matter into his own hands if... Trinidad punch low. There it was. There's blood apparently coming from Trinidad's nose. Yeah, when you got a lot of jabs like that, you're going to see a lot of blood from the nose. A lot of jabs being thrown when it goes right to the nose.
Jop has already seen that he's able to get up from Trinidad's punch. Trinidad didn't have the stamina to finish him in that round. Well, remember, not only did Vargas come back to knock Trinidad down in the fourth after seemingly being gone from the fight in the first round, but he seized functional control of the fight for a few rounds. Three, four, and five. Maybe Joppy can pull the same table-turning act here. He's working that jab and throwing a wider variety of punches than does Trinidad. landed for Duffy. Not hard, but he made contact. Great. Trinidad seems to be having a little trouble breathing through that bloody nose. Watch those elbows, gentlemen! Duffy throwing more punches and landing more so far in round three. Trinidad trying to measure him for another big left hook. Great! Great! It seems that in this round, Joppy has found something, a way to go at Trinidad with his jab. And Mercanti risking life and limb to pull him apart at the end of the third.
looking really good now. Then Williams got the credit. He's standing up to the most deadly puncher in the game. All the curves in the world. Well, he's not really standing up there. He's, he's wobbling up to him. He's wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> and he makes it out of the round. <laughs> makes Trinidad, Trinidad is, he's more than a one-handed puncher, he can hurt you with both hands, as he did there, and that led to the left hand, that led to the rest of that round, with Joppy desperately trying to survive, and succeeding only at that. Shades of Mike Tyson against Trevor Burbank because Joppy was down twice on that left hand. Got up, fell down again, finally got up and stayed up. Gutty effort by Joppy just to make it out of round four. But he's been down twice in the fight. He still continues to follow Trinidad around and stand in front of him. Jim, that's the kind of fighter he is. That's the kind of fighter that got him to this point. He can't change his way of fighting. He's got to be it. Either he's going to be stronger than Trinidad or Trinidad is going to be stronger than him. So far, we have the answer. Trinidad doesn't look to hit you on the chin. He'll take anything the side of the head, the ear, top of the head, under the head. Well, we've seen him stop fighters with body punches as well. He'll take any shot that you let him have. Once again, Joppy building up a huge activity level in round five. Remember, in round three, he threw 116 punches. Copy box confirms that's the most ever thrown against Trinidad in a single round of a fight they tracked. Tito, watch the elbow. Come on now. Never been a champion for so long who continues to work hard in the gym. Road work for Trinidad does. Continues to have the same desire to stay in shape. Yeah, he loves it. Simple man, simple life, great boxing style, left hook, right cross, Duffy's in trouble again. Oh, oh. that throwing every shot with murderous intent. He loves the knockout, he says. Duffy just believed that he can do it. Take it and come back. Duffy trading shots toe-to-toe -to -toe with Trinidad. This is the way they used to do it. Fight wasn't over until it was over. Joppy went down to the body. Trinidad may be the deadliest puncher 
in these divisions since Ray Robinson. It's, he's like a, pin, a pinpoint boxer who can thread the needle, but he does it with power. I got no argument with that. <laughs> he can be mentioned right along with Ray Robinson. Well, you talk about using your punches efficiently. By CompuBox numbers in the fight, Felix Trinidad landed 108 of 191, 57%. Most of them power shots. Just a devastating performance against an outstanding fighter. He said before the fight, if Jaffe comes to the fight, it will come to fight. It has to be a knockout. And he's right. The ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official particulars on Trinidad sensational TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes twenty-five seconds in round number five. Our referee in charge, Arthur Mercanti, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, and he is the new WBA middleweight champion.